Faith and Experiences, Part 11 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English, on December 25, 1997, in Washington, D.C., USA. Xuân vừa về trên bãi cỏ non Gió rung đưa lá vàng suối nguồn Hoa cười cùng tia nắng vàng son Lũ ông lên đường canh thung tròn Next one, please. Uh, which one is first? Okay. Uh, here? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, you mentioned earlier that it seemed to be more difficult for people from the West to cultivate humility and to accept correction and direction mm -hmm. um, from their spiritual elders. And I was wondering if you could advise us on how to be more receptive to that sort of guidance. Mm, I don't know how. Because you have been in a different background, different education. You've been more independent since young, you know. And uh, your country's uh, constitution is different, okay? You have not been trained since childhood to obey literally everything the elders say to you, see? So that's how you grew up with it. So it's all right with me. It's all right with me. It's not wrong. It's not wrong at all. It's just that uh, uh, you, you fail easily <laughs> in some of the hard tests in life. Because uh, as a practitioner, uh, sometimes we have been tested and we will be tested very severely uh, mentally, internally, so that we become more and more humble, more and more egoless, so that we can endure the hardship better, so that the God power can integrate within us better without any interference, without any obstruction. So it takes perhaps longer for you. And if you're willing to do God's work, then you should prepare yourself for some of the setbacks, yeah? And if you happen to make it, then you make it. If you don't make it, you don't make it. It's all right. There's not much I can advise you about what you already set out in your mind. You know, you have already been trained into this kind of thinking and this kind of mentality. I just say it as, as a fact, you know, not as a criticism or that there is something we can remedy. You, you have to remedy it yourself, you know. And you try your best to, to, to bear in mind that, okay, this is going to be tough, yeah. But not to, to curse yourself like, okay, I'm going to have all the hardships possible. Don't, don't set it like that also. You just let it be. Whatever you can take, you take. If you cannot take, you cannot take. No one else can say anything to you. Or can help you, accept yourself. Just be prepared that, okay, it might be this way, it might be that way. All right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Have fun. <laughs> yes? Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Master. For the Canadian lady, I just wanted to suggest that, like we at the Georgia Center and other centers, have a vegan get-together, uh, covered dish dinner once a month, uh -huh. generally after our Sunday meditation and at that time we answer questions and ask questions and share uh, suggestions like a potluck dinner yeah normally in, in in every center they have vegan courses you know but probably they have gone out of it right now and they, they will start it again sometimes English courses you know something going on yeah you you be active okay you be active you, you lead the way yeah well who else now yeah thank you master it will be your turn now huh? please be patient yeah. I, just thank, I just want to thank you to let to let us be your disciple, my husband and I. We also have the same um, difficulty, just like the lady who sit beside you there. My husband and I initiated um, 96 March system, but we don't we, we don't have any experience. What do you mean? Don't have any experience? Um, I thought you black people see all white light all over. <laughs> You I make know. the black people ashamed now. <laughs> and me too. Yesterday I just advertised so well. We don't see... Um, Where's your husband? He's over there. Okay. What kind of experience do you have when you meditate on the light and the sound? The light. The light. 
you see what is in front of you when you meditate? As a matter of fact, I just saw the light only once. Once? Uh huh. Because you don't concentrate all the time. Oh, as a matter of fact, we meditate two and a half hours. I know, I know, I know. Every day. Yeah. Not everybody sees light every day, okay? Sometimes they see light when they concentrate well. Sometimes they don't see light, but they see like moving darkness, or they see like an empty space, or like daylight, or a flashlight. Sometimes they see just a point of light, and it flashes so fast that if you don't catch it, <laughs> you miss it. So concentrate more, okay? Yeah, uh, uh, but the case is, is two years now, and. Mm-hmm. Actually, like what the lady just said, we have faith in you, and we, we know this is the right path. Mm. That is why we continue doing it, because mm. two years is a bit long. And you sit there and meditate right now. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay, thank you. They do this and meditate. And you too. Okay. Yes. Meditate now. Don't listen anymore. Okay? You could come over here, but we don't have space, okay? So you sit there and concentrate on me. Look at my eyes for a while, and then close your eyes and meditate. Next, close your eyes, yeah. Well, thank you, Master, mm. for having changed my life into an easier and a happier. Um, I'm from Argentina. Uh, once I was told by a messenger that um, medi- meditating in the sound for three hours with no interruption uh, is uh, good for our growth or um, to guarantee a faster growth. But my problem is that I cannot meditate in the sound more than an hour. How can I uh, help myself or uh, to meditate longer? One hour is enough already. It's very good already. Many people can't even do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, then if you want, you can add, for example, normally you meditate for one hour and 20 minutes, okay? Then you add five minutes next time. Just five minutes for a week. And then next time you add another five minutes in another week, you know, just get the mind used to it. And don't test your endurance too much, or else your body might give up. You see? Just five minutes at a time. And then over a year, you can do it very long, Mm -hmm. if you want to, okay? Otherwise, uh, it is requested only one hour of uh, sound meditation every day it will be enough already. Even though you don't see your progress, other people do see your progress, and you do progress. Just like Thank a you. child, a baby, grows so little every day that <laughs> the mother still thinks she's a little baby even if she's already married. <laughs> yeah. That's why the parents treat their children like babies all the time, and that bugs the children so much. Mother, I'm, I'm, I'm 20 years old, I'm married, you know, already. And they still think that's uh, their baby. <laughs> yeah, because they grow so gradually and so evenly every day that you don't realize they grow up. Same with you, spiritual practitioners. Don't panic too much. Don't worry, you are all okay. If you really do what the instructions say, even if you don't feel you see the light, you do see the light. You do it in your sleep, because the Master doesn't leave any soul unattended. If you still have faith in the Master, that means you are on the correct path. That means Master is attending to you. It's just the mind, you know, just the mind that worries. Because you hear so many experiences, I should have kicked you all out and talked to one person at a time. Would you like that? Then you would not compare experiences, and then you have to wait outside in a queue in the cold because we don't have enough room here. And then you complain to all oh, master, let us see you while you talk, doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> and like all these people, I told them to go have lunch, they still sit there. <laughs> huh? Not that I ask you to stay, you know, they sit there if they want to, okay? Don't worry about your growth, I guarantee. If you keep the precepts, if you eat vegan, if you meditate as much as you can every day, not even two and a half hours, just as much as you can afford, you know, your physical body and your mentality endurance can afford, I guarantee you're liberated. You are already liberated. And you are the one who can liberate others as well. If you're fully initiated, you know, your five generations and your 
uh, your friends and your relatives, your dogs, your cats, etc. You see? So don't worry about it, okay? Don't Thank you worry. so much. I guarantee again, again, and again. Thank you so much. About that? Okay. Let her add something. I see most of the new initiation here that have the problem. I used to have that problem in the beginning, and I used to talk to my companion in the center, and, and I used to say, all that I hear is a lot of water. Sometimes I'm, I think that I'm going to swallow in the water. My master is going to have, have to help me because I only hear water and water and water. But I keep meditating. Continue, yes. And I, I was thinking that before I, I, I was speaking this because I don't want my ego to go up. Hmm. But I am a, a kind of person that when I promise something, I, I follow my promise. So I keep meditating. And I start from first time in my life, getting up three o'clock in the morning. So I keep doing and I keep doing. And I'm going to tell you something. It's not much important experience that you have, what you see, what you hear. It's the feeling that you have in your life, the way that your life opens, all the steps that you go through. It's, you see it. It's not only in your meditation, it's in your life. The most important thing to, the, the change that you have in your whole body. It's not important what you hear or what you see. It's the way you, one step and another, if you keep doing what Master says. If you don't do it, that's something different. But if you follow all the, the, the regulations, I tell you that you don't want to live in any other, except, except going fast. But that, I got a friend here that is, I talked to her and she, she also agreed with me that only that, no interest in any kind of a vision, or any kind of mm -hmm. experience or, yeah, or yeah. light, nothing. Mm. Jobs keep going and you will okay. see. And then you become more loving, yeah, more calm, more peaceful. And that's what the light and the sound do to you. Sometimes you're just eager for a more kind of uh, obvious mind expectation, kind of light and sound. And then you forget the progress that you have made in your life. You know, that your life has changed for the better, that you have peace of mind already, that you have liberation already while living. And yeah, you liberate it from greed, from frustration, from hatred, from sorrow, yeah, and from the ego. Mm? That is a great experience too. Brothers and sisters, got it? Yes. Good. Okay, next one, please. <laughs> the woman finished. Yeah, good. You want one more? Okay, one more. Uh, the blue one also you want? No? Okay, good. Okay, make it quick and to the point and okay. in the microphone. I just wanted to clarify something about the liberation because you have just said you guarantee us all liberation if we stick to the path. But I've also heard you say sometimes if we didn't complete our mission or uh, many practitioners have said if we're still on the astral level, maybe we will come back. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to clarify this uh, well, contradiction. I guarantee if you do my instructions, right? Mm -hmm. The professor can only guarantee a student's graduation if he does his homework. Mm -hmm. No? It doesn't matter how brilliant a professor is. Well, in some special cases, if the person doesn't deliberately break the precepts or is really so weak, then the master carries him also mm -hmm. into the <laughs> house. <laughs> if he can't walk alone, then the master will not forsake him. But if he deliberately leaves the path, leaves the master, leaves the instructions, leaves the teaching, and doesn't want anything to do with it, wants to plunge back into the world, then this is his own right, his own choice. Mm -hmm. Then he has to come back and learn his lesson or play around until he's fed up. Right. Understand? Yes. But if, if we are still practicing on the path when we, when we die... Yeah, it doesn't matter where... What are, level what we level. are, astral level, what... Shh. Okay. Never come back again. Thank you. Unless you volunteer. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Okay, no, don't volunteer, then I won't volunteer to take you back either. <laughs> okay, now the boys. Yes. Many organized religions hold sacred one day out of the week, like Sunday or Saturday, 
can we as initiates look at the uh, two and a half hours of meditation as the same? Set one day only, yeah. Oh, we do have one day of group meditation too. Any organized religion has one day a week. That's the remnant, that's the, the leftover from, from the real thing, like what we're doing now. See, two and a half hours every day. But once a week we gather together, or once a month, whenever you can. Group meditation, just to strengthen each other's faith, to support each other in our endeavor to go home, because in this world we have few friends. Our friends are very few. See? And we sit together like discussing things or encouraging each other or the elder one explains some to the new one. That's the purpose of one day a week. And now they just have one day a week and nothing else. Everything in the religion now you witness is the leftover from the real, real teaching from the master when he was alive. For example, in the church they give you the cake, no? And they give you the wine, no? Or oh, here is the blessed food. <laughs> you know, when they initiate it, they give you some of the blessed food, so to remind you to practice, yeah? Whenever you have a problem, you have popcorn or something, whatever. It doesn't have to be popcorn. It can be the cake like in the church too. It can be pop rice or cornflakes, whatever it is, yeah? If a master blesses it and gives it to you, you eat it once in a while, huh? Oh. Or when you gather together like this and you pray to the Master in front of the Master picture and you ask the Master to bless, and the Master's uh, astral body, you know, the manifestation body also blesses the food. And then you eat together. And this is also the communion food. Yeah, and you drink the blessed water also. In this uh, congregation, you feel better than when you eat at home. And then, then in the church or in the uh, Buddhist temple, they only have blessed food from the statue. You see, or once a week, the communion food, things like that. It's a leftover from a beautiful, real ritual. And now it's only ritual. So we have everything that they have in Thank the religion. You. You're welcome. It's just real. <laughs> hoa biểu người xuân thì có một đàn em bé ngoài đi hát câu y từ đó 